Uh, right. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to this webinar on GSHR 2024. Uh, and of course, we will be doing a slight deep dive into whatever uh, survey activity that we have just conducted. And uh, also, I'll be giving you a demo of the web portal. Uh, but I want to just give some context right in the beginning for uh, because we have had some new people participating this time. And also, we extended this invite to some people who have not, part uh, not participated just so that they can come in and see uh, uh, the work that we are doing and what GSHR is all about. So GSHR is Global Seafaring Human Resources. Uh, it's a research and survey that we do every year. And it is primarily of in two parts. One is the manpower compensation and benefits survey that we do every year, which as all of the participating companies know, we have just finished. And then we also do a research and literature review uh, into uh, the global trade, geopolitics, et cetera, try to connect the two and then release a final report, right? So of course, uh, we, I will be detailing into this as we move ahead. Um, okay. So the agenda for today is uh, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, as always, this webinar will not extend more than an hour. We, uh, I will have a short presentation, the, uh, uh, the, you know, the uh, demo for the web portal, and then uh, we will have some uh, question and answer. So within uh, the webinar, I will start with some basic introduction. We will explain in detail what GSHR is all about and how we are operating because there have been some changes in how the modus operandi will be from this year onwards. So I will explain that a bit. And of course, I will give you the uh, demo of the web portal and the next steps uh, we will uh, share with you and then we will take some uh, questions. All right, so as I was saying, uh, this survey, uh, this entire project is primarily in two parts. The first part is the manpower compensation and benefit survey that we do. And when we re re uh, release the results of that particular survey, uh, that is in the form of a digital report. And when I say digital, as you all know, we actually mean digital because it is released via the web portal specifically designed for GSHR. So that is what I will be giving a demonstration of. If any of the participants have logged in already this time, you must have seen there are quite a few changes in the portal uh, and uh, there are more features that we have added to it, right? So those of you all who do not know me, uh, I'm Yogita Kapoor and I'm working with ISF Group. And this webinar today is brought to you by ISF Group and the entire GSHR activity is conducted by our team at ISF uh, every year. Uh, just a small quick insight into ISF group, again, for especially for the people who are new here. We are a knowledge consultancy organization. We have our own training institute, Maritime and Offshore Institute, providing value-added training. Uh, there are knowledge academic partnerships that we do with companies, institutions, uh, the industry. We have SaaS tech platforms to support all of the solutions and services that we offer. And one of the tech platform that we have built is also the one that you all use for the GSHR to check your results. And of course, we have a research wing where we do journals, working paper series, articles, white papers, and industry surveys and benchmarking. And we are obviously going to focus on one of them today primarily and going to talk about it. Right, so GSHR 2024 is the Global Seafaring Human Resources Survey Research Report of 2024. And we have been conducting this since the year 2009. And this initiative is supported by uh, the our ship owning associations, FOSMA and uh, MASA. Uh, what GSHR is all about, I think I can explain best in the terms of the benefits that it gives. So I've already highlighted that before I started the webinar, but it, Within this entire project, uh, we uh, do a lot of research and literature review into the current trends, geopolitics, uh, maritime trade, and how that is evolving and how that will impact maritime trade and shipping companies. Uh, that, along with the uh, data that we have collected over the survey, we analyze that together and uh, we try to also do analysis of seafarer demand, uh, the competitiveness potential. All of this together, along with uh, the compensation and benefits benchmark, we hope will allow uh, shipping companies to make informed decisions about budgeting, about blue costs that will be coming up. And of course, you will be able to see the trends over the years and also benchmark yourself uh, once you log into the portal from for, for each data set, that is for each rank or maybe for each nationality, etc. So this is what GSHR does overall. Now, you may notice that I'm using the word project a lot because it is not just one 
research survey or one activity that we are doing, we try to do it as a complete project. And when I say project, it what basically means is the, you, uh, all the participating companies are able to avail everything that we have to offer in the GSHR bundle. So starting with when we finish the survey, we release this digital preliminary report, which we just did after which we are meeting, all of us are meeting today. That is the first part after which we will start working on the annual report and everybody will be having access to the annual report. Uh, this annual report will also be available uh, which the industry, non-participating companies can purchase. And additionally, uh, you all must have noticed earlier this year, we have added uh, 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 you know, an additional uh, data uh, verification and analysis part so that you can get a second digital preliminary report uh, towards the end of the year. So why we will why we do this, I will uh, come into, uh, I will explain that deta in detail in the next slide. But this is the entire bundle that GSHR has to offer uh, across the year, right? So this is our modus operandi overall. Uh, we begin in the month of May. So people and team from ISF and from FOSMA, MASA, the chairpersons, the secretariat, we all get together to brainstorm uh, how the last year's survey went, what was the feedback from last year's project, and uh, what would be required in this year, what has changed, and what are the new elements we could add uh, in the GSHR in this year. So once all of this is done, we then go back, ISF works on updating the survey form, uh, and I think all uh, many participating companies, if you have noticed, there were some changes in the survey form that we had distributed this time. There were some new fields that you had to fill up. Uh, so we, we do do that. And uh, after we have finished uh, updating, uh, the, uh, the, the survey form is circulated amongst the companies so that they can fill and send it back to us. Now, once you have filled the form and sent it back to us, we conduct verification where we request the PIC from your company to meet us on a Zoom call for 15, 20 minutes and pull up some contracts so that we can verify that the wages that you have given are in accordance to the contracts that you're showing. Now here, I would like to emphasize that every year with each company, we sign a non-disclosure agreement, uh, which means all the data that you share with us is confidential, is secure. Uh, and not only that, uh, even the web, uh, the sorry, the the Zoom call that we do with you for verification, that has got no digital trace, and we do not record that at all. That is purely for verification. So uh, your data is always secure, and we do not disclose it otherwise. So this is the complete data collection and verification part that we do, right? Once all of this is complete, again our team goes back. Uh, we do some final checks. There are some instances where we may need to call back a company and check on something that may have been missed during the verification. I think some of you have seen that. So we do that. We do a final data analysis. We update all uh, checks, any changes onto our web portal and our analysis sheets. And once all of this is done, uh, we then get ready to release this uh, these results via the digital report. And as soon as we result, uh, release the, the digital report, we then usually have a webinar where we all come together like the one we are having now. And we will show you how you can access your results easily on the web portal that has been made available to you. Uh, so soon after this, now we will start working on the research and literature review part, which includes uh, the global trends, uh, the economy, geopolitics, uh, which will lead us to do some analysis in uh, demand. Uh, we will try to get some legit sources to understand seafarer supply. We will also uh, work on understanding what is the maritime training landscape in India along with the capacity. So all of that, uh, along with more detailed insights into the compensation and benefits uh, that came from the survey, all of that together will go in the GSHR annual report, which is released by the month of October, right? Now, previous two years, we got this feedback from a few participants that once they had already received the results sometime in August, uh, they wanted an update in the results by the time it was end of the year because the wages had already undergone change and they wanted to keep up with the new uh, with, with, with the new trends of the industry. So after we got this feedback, we had internal discussions and we then initiated something called as a second data collection and analysis session, 
uh, the first, this was the first year that we did that, which was actually in December. And we uh, collected, we requested everybody to uh, simply replicate your data onto the portal. And uh, we do not conduct verifications again at that stage, but we do do our basic checks so that there is no erroneous uh, data added there. And uh, we will then also release a second uh, digital report sometime around January. Uh, and this we will be repeating again this year itself. So we look at this as an ongoing activity, the second data collection process. So you can look at this as a yearly membership for all of you. So once you are a part of the survey, the, the project that commences in May, you will be able to gain the benefits and be a part of this entire process up until uh, you know January. So this is our entire loop, how we are functioning. Right. Okay, uh, this very quickly then how GSHR has evolved over the years. As I said, we started in 2009. Uh, FOSMA had initiated the compensation and benefits survey and ISF group was nominated to conduct this survey. In 2013, uh, MASA joined and significantly boosted this entire process. Over the years, we have also uh, done other surveys, which I will just come to next, but I want to focus uh, first on 2019. Uh, so when we started in 2009, uh, this was focusing on Indian onboard seafaring positions. In 2019, we expanded to collecting data from more foreign nationalities, and that is when the name became Global Seafaring HR Project. So that's why we call it GSHR now. And in 2021, we developed this, uh, you know, a, a customized portal uh, specifically dedicated to the GSHR project. Uh, so this has been the uh, the evolution as far as GSHR concern is concerned. In 2017, we had also done a show staff survey and benchmarking, which we reinitiated in 2023, and we will be doing one. Uh, this year is it's uh, as well, and we will uh, uh, share you know send out emails and form a survey form for the short staff survey as well soon after this. We have also done a maritime training institute benchmarking uh, somewhere in twenty eighteen. Right, so this has been the entire activity, and this is another graph to see how GSHR has come over the years. So this what this graph is showing is as you can see the small boxes towards the x axis is the number of participating companies. And the tall bar is actually Indian onboard seafaring positions. So as you can see, we started in 2009 with 24 participating companies. And this year, we have 52 participating companies, which has been the highest uh, over the year. So to this year is our biggest survey till date. Right. Now, uh, focusing very specifically on the survey of 2024, as I said, this has been our biggest survey, highest numbers surveyed across uh, every parameter, uh, right from the foreign nationalities, we had uh, 14 vessel types, uh, 23 ranks uh, 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 from 52 companies were surveyed. Uh, across these 52 companies, there are close to 5,000 plus ships and uh, the total seafarer data collected from all nationalities and all ranks is over 70,000. Right. Uh, so... I am now focusing on the key elements in the digital report. As I just said, the survey as soon as we finish and what you are accessing on the portal right now is actually the digital report. Uh, so these are the key elements that you can focus on and I'll also be showing in the uh, demo that I do uh, soon after. So first is of course, uh, we have added a brand new dashboard to give you an overall uh, view of the survey this year. It is more detailed than what it used to be previously. Uh, so companies, the seafarer spread, the vessel spread, trainee inductions, et cetera. So it's become a very comprehensive dashboard that you have now. Uh, secondly, we have introduced something called as heat maps. Uh, and heat maps is a heat map of your own percent rank. So I will come back to that once I explain point number three, which is percentile. So like every year, we have continued with the same thing where we give you a percentile spread. Uh, and uh, uh, we explain how the wages from min to max are uh, uh, vary. Uh, so for every uh, vessel rank and nationality that you choose, you will be able to see the minimum and maximum wages, the median, uh, the mean, uh, that is the average and the standard deviation. Along with that, you will also see what your company wages are and what your percent rank is. So let's say if your percent rank is 80%, so in very simplistic terms, there are only another 20% of companies, 20% of respondents that are paying. 
more than what you are paying. So we also, uh, so along with your percent rank, we also give you what is the generic P10, which is the 10th uh, percentile P25, 75 and P90. So this entire thing has remained the same like every year. So you get a complete uh, a detailed analysis of the wages for each uh, uh, selection. Now, uh, focusing on your percent rank, which I just explained, we have developed something called as a heat map, where if you, let's say, select a particular designation, you can see your entire percent rank uh, in one page itself uh, across the ship types and the nationality. So just in one glance, you will see where you stand uh, against uh, the industry. So I will, again, as I said, the web portal demo will clear if anything is not clear at the moment. And we have, of course, maintained the uh, trends where you will be able to select uh, last four years and see how the wages have changed. And finally, of course, you can just still generate a PDF uh, report uh, per nationality uh, for uh, the results that have just been released. Right. Uh, soon after this, as we will be working on our annual report, I've already touched upon this, so I will quickly uh, skim through this, but this is what you can expect in the upcoming annual report. There's going to be analysis of ongoing trade, its impact on seafarer demand supply, uh, there will be some study on geopolitical situation, and also what technological advancements are there. Uh, we will do a comprehensive review, again, of the seafarer compensation benefits, uh, overall trends, industry benchmarks. Uh, we are inter we have introduced a new distinct section of vessels under IGF code uh, covering wages and also uh, the type of IGF vessels and what you can expect in the future. Uh, uh, you know, what kind of IGF vessels to be expected in the future. There is always some inclusion of additional benefits like standby wages, hardship allowance, etc. And finally, as I had mentioned, a uh, review of the training facilities and uh, training capacities in uh, India, we will be giving you some data on that as well. So this is what you can look forward to in the final report. Right, so we are now actually uh, ready for the GSHR portal demo. So I will just stop sharing and I will reshare my screen uh, with the live portal. So just give me a minute. Right. So for this particular demo, what we have done is we have created a duplicate of uh, the portal that you all are using. I will be using a test ID to log in and show you some of the results. So the uh, ID I'll be using is that of a test company, but the data that you see will actually is actual data that has been analyzed in this year's survey. Any company data that you see, that is actually dummy data, which we introduced just for the purposes of this demo. So I will just share my screen quickly. So I hope my screen, okay, great. So as you can see, we have a new login page. There is some new design as well. We have tried to, right. So welcome everyone to the GSHR web portal. Uh, and uh, this is what all participating companies this year have access to. And uh, I will be taking you through some of the menu items that are available on the left, starting with the one that I am at. This is the current survey dashboard. So as I said, it will give you an overview of what the current survey has been like. So these are some numbers at a glance about participating companies, the seafarer population surveyed, etc. Here is where you can see what is the company profile spread uh, with respect to the Indian seafarers. So if it is less than 200 on board position or between 200, 500 or more than 500, and if they're ship owning management or recruiting agency, so you will get a good idea of what kind of companies have participated. Uh, scrolling further, uh, we have these two uh, pie charts. The left one is describing the seafarer population surveyed by rank. So if you hover on any of these, you'll be able to see how many onboard positions of a particular rank have been surveyed in this year's, uh, uh, in this year's survey. Right? And on the right side, you can see number of companies across vessel types. So for oil tankers, 30, 33. So there are actually 33 companies within the entire uh, data set that are operating oil tankers. That is what the pie chart on the right means. So you will get number of companies as per what vessel types they are operating. Going further, of course, this graph I've already shown you, this is the number of participants uh, of GSHR over the years. 
Uh, we also, as you must have seen in the form in the initial part itself, we do collect data about trainee inductions over the years. So this actually shows you a trend of trainee inductions that have been captured over the years. Finally, uh, okay, not finally, but we have some little more. So uh, we are offering a slightly more detailed and special glimpse into the Indian seafaring onboard positions. So the numbers that you see here, as I said, are the Indian seafaring onboard positions. And as per the data we have collected, we have shown here uh, that uh, uh, they, have, they go by rank and the vessel type. So you get a slight deep dive into what kind of Indian seafaring onboard positions look like in the survey conducted. And finally, we have given you a world map to see the nationalities covered. And if you hover on them, you'll be able to see the onboard positions that were surveyed for each of these nationalities, right? So this is the first dashboard that will give you a glimpse into what this survey is all about. I will now take you to the heat map, the new part that I was talking about. This is the second new dashboard that we have developed. And uh, let me see, okay. So uh, basically when you are looking at heat map, you can either see by nationality, by vessel or by designation. So here I will be showing you by designation. So let's say if I choose master first year wages. So this means first year and final year. So I can choose if I want to see it by first year wages or by the final year ones. So I've chosen first year. And if I click on generate, just give it a second. Yeah. You will see a chart like this. So as I said, this is a heat map of your percent rank. If you see somewhere, uh, let's say 25, uh, sorry, this says 23, but uh, let's say about 25. So this means 75% of the companies are paying more than you. So for India, VLCC, this particular company can know where they stand in the entire weight scale that has been given by the respondents. So this heat map, uh, let's say for master, will give you where you stand across all nationalities and all of the vessels that have been surveyed. Also, if you hover here, you will be able to actually, you will be able to shortlist and see uh, the extreme high and average uh, uh, percent rank for, for the wages that you are offering, right? Similarly, you have heat map either that you can choose by vessel or by nationality. So uh, I'm hoping you can use this and then at a glance, see what your wages look like in the industry. Uh, moving on to wages percentile, I think this is something that most of the participating companies are familiar with, but some new participants may find this uh, uh, of interest. So wages percentile, it will again give you your percent rank, but it will give you a much more detailed information and analysis about what the wages look like for a certain selection that you make. Uh, so let's say if I do choose master and maybe I can choose, I don't know, bulk carriers, India, and uh, if I select... Uh, 2024 and if I click on get percentile right so I'll be able to see here that for the, a certain vessel type nationality what has been the minimum wage what was the maximum wage the average standard deviation what my company wages are and what my percent rank is and similarly I can see the same thing for the master for the final year wages as well. So this will give you an exact information as to where you stand and it'll show you the entire graph along with various percentile marks in the between, in the middle. Right? So this is wages percentile. Again, uh, this particular uh, feature allows you to select up to three uh, options from the dropdown so that you can select and you can see all of them at a glance. We have also given you the option to print this out if you require. So let's say uh, you are seeing for masters and then for chief officer and for the second officer. So you'll be able to see all of this at a glance and print it out and circulate it if you need. Then you can also select, if you need to compare it from the last year survey, you can select 2023 annual and then compare it against this year's annual. Uh, you also have selection of various nationalities and as I said, various vessel types. So this will give you a deep dive into the how the wages look like, right? Uh, then moving on to custom wages percentile, this is also a very good decision-making tool because uh, I will show you how. Once again, if you are able to select uh, places where you would like to make a certain decision or you want to see that if you change wages, how is it going to affect your percent rank? Uh, you first can generate this first original percentile, which will show you where you stand. And then you get this editable box which you can edit. 
So let's say I have entered some new wages. Instead of 8,500, I have entered 8,900. And then I have entered here 11,500. I can then click on get updated percentile. And then I'll be able to see as per the new wages entered where I stand in the industry. So as soon as I have increased my wages by just a little bit, uh, what is the growth or increase in my percent rank and where I might stand in the industry. So this is a tool where you can punch in uh, hypothetical numbers or numbers that you have in mind for the next year and see how that will affect your standing in the industry. Yeah. And finally, I want to show you trends. Trends, at this, the, as the name says, it's pretty clear. It will give you uh, wages trends over last few years. So let me just select four years here. Yeah, and then, so here you'll be able to, the, the, the trend mapping is done using the average uh, wages, the mean wages. So mean wage of every year and the year on year growth uh, along with the aggregate year on your growth, you will be able to see in the trends section. So you will get a sense of whether it is decreased or increased much more than uh, for, uh, last few years. Uh, this is where you will be able to get a sense of uh, how the trends look of last few years' wages. So right, this is all the features of the portal. And as I said, we will be circulating this video across so that uh, you have something to look up to. And we are also available on a call if you need help or have any queries regarding this. Yeah, so I'll just stop my share, uh, sc my screen share and I will reshare my PPT. Uh, right, I hope my screen is visible again. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so now that we have finished the demo of the portal, I just want to share what is next. Uh, firstly, uh, the portal use, I would, uh, we, in fact, entire team at ISF, we would like to strongly encourage uh, that you please do share the GSHR ID password with other key people at your organization. Of course, you can always generate a PDF and send it across. Uh, but also if they have these credentials and if they get the hang of it, it's going to be a very good easy lookup tool for them to go and check the data uh, real time. Uh, and as I said, check on trends, uh, uh, add some uh, custom wages and see how that, uh, that is looking. They can check their own heat map and get a glance. So I think if you are able to share the credentials across and have more people at the organization use it, that will be, that will be fantastic. So please do try for that. Uh, next upcoming, of course, is our annual report, which we have already started working on. And once that is finished, that will be added to the web portal and all the participating companies will be informed. And we will also inform the industry in case they want to procure, procure a copy of the portal. And finally, as I said, we will be doing a show staff survey focusing on Indian uh, shore uh, positions uh, specifically. And for that, we will be sending you a form and detail very soon. So, so thank you, everyone. Of course, I'll give a quick vote of thanks towards the end, but 